Hey there guys, this is I'm Real Ninja with Let's Play Nice Old Republic. I'm an idiot. I've completely underestimated how difficult this game can get. This is attempt two. For starters, the last attempt was the uh my normal yeah, normal time. Take that. However, this is also the second time I've had a full party wipe. God, it's not fun. I, to be honest, I really should have should have checked my surroundings beforehand. But this game's pretty tough already. I'm on normal, by the way. I uh not not sure. Normal. There is a difficult and an easy, and I'm in the very middle. The game is beating me over the head with my own severed limb. But hey, it's not all bad. Let's see, this this should loop back to here. Actually, I don't think I have been in this one in the last one. Yeah? What? Sure. Here we go. There's a corpse. Oh no, yeah, I, I know this room, never mind. Disregard. No problem. Got it. Oh, that's something else I forgot to do. Give myself the cardio regulator. Okay. Hey, Big Z, we gotta do something about your breath. I didn't want to say anything, but it's bad. Worse than usual, which is hard to believe. In fact, now that I think about it, your breath has been pretty rancid ever since we rescued you from those Gamorian slavers. What they feed you, buddy? Oh, Zalbar, that's terrible. I know how grouchy you get if you don't get your eight square meals a day. I'm amazed you didn't pass out from hunger. Uh, that might, might be what's causing your bad breath there, bud. No wonder your breath is so bad, Big Z. Gamorreans smell like bantha poodoo. We'll have to pick you up a toothbrush to clean that stench out of your choppers. <laughs> okay, relax. No toothbrush. Sheesh. Just try and eat something else to cover up that smell, okay? Stay away from anything that's smart enough to lock you in a cage this time. See, Zolbar gets it. I have stuff I need to do. So, and actually, I didn't do this on the last no one. Didn't work. All right, so let's have a mission hack it. Gotcha. Simple. Uh. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. Let's 
Soulbar's bowcaster. <laughs> All right. So nothing changes there. Yeah, I had no clue that that uh that weapons locker was there. Also, for whatever reason, this room doesn't like showing up until after I step all the way in it. Also, we we checked that corpse last episode. We got stuff. So let's head down this way and head through this door that we didn't go into. There's a more control that dies in one hit. Okay, now I can move. Should be another big circle room. Yep. Filled to the brim with Gamorians. <laughs> They are all dead. 3,200. Also remains. Alright, so there's a door over here. This door leads back to the uh, force field. We don't want to go there just yet. We want to keep exploring. I think. Yeah, this, this is not... Not that horrible place that I do not need to be right now. Alright, nothing in here, nothing in here. This journal is a record of the long, difficult search. Interesting. So there are two of them down here. What does that mean, though? She'll come back in just a moment with one. Yeah? Yes? Med pack credits. Anything else? No. No, this ladder won't lead anywhere, right? Oh, no, it does. Where does this lead? Terrace? Oh, God, no. Uh, no nothing, nothing right now, Zolbar. Yes? Oh, okay. There's a Sith soldier corpse. Rat Ghoul Serum, Blaster Rifle, Heavy Combat Suit, Med Pack, Beam Splitter, Antidote Kit. So we now have the Rat Ghoul Serum that we can give to the doctor guy. Also, there's a corpse here. So, actually, let's, uh... Let's finish exploring this area. Yeah, there's not much to explore. And I have shut off most of it. But we also need to head back up to the surface, take care of a couple things. 
I also should probably uh, level these guys up. Let's go security, treat injury, stealth, no, computer use. Okay. And feats, gain sneak attack 3, teach you power blast, and accept. And Zolbar. Uh, let's give Zolbar. Demo. Awareness. No. Repair. Treat injury. Repair. Feats. Well, he's focused on melee weapons. So I don't really see a use for him having blaster rifle stuff. No, let's let's give him improve. No, let's give him power blast also. Sure. Right. So search that corpse. We just need to head up this way, and then out the gate. Run back up to Terrace. Take care of a couple side quests we can take care of. And come back prepared. Because I know that this part coming up sucks horribly in terms of deaths. Oh, actually we need to head over this way. Because I didn't explore this area too much. I wish I could show it, but apparently clicking the map pulls up the map. I didn't want to pull up the map. Let's, uh, let's see what's up in this corner. Hopefully nothing too dangerous. Doesn't seem like it. There's a pack of rat ghoul. Minor frag mine. Uh, five rat ghoul. Alright. Nothing over here. There's a corpse and another corpse. Okay. Let's shield myself. <laughs> We're five, right? I could have sworn I saw five. There's four. There's just oh, there's one. He was hiding in the pillars. Silly rat ghoul. Oh, six, seven. Eight. Eight rat ghoul. In this one area, this would have been a death trap for anyone that either was not as high leveled slash yeah, powerful as I am. Uh, Promised Land Apprentice Journal. That is different than the ones we have found. So... This journal details the search for the Promised Land carried out by Rukil's uh, Apprentice. Most of the entries are mundane, however this last entry is quite interesting. I have uncovered evidence that others have been seeking out the fabled land, and the third trek has, uh, treks have led them into the sewers. I have decided that I must go there as well. So... We actually already have the journals from the sewers. So let's uh, let's head out through the gate. Yeah, through the gate. Uh, talk to Rukil first. Have him take the journals. Probably listen to him complain slash you know cry about how they shouldn't have died. They were too young. They didn't see, didn't find the promised land. I'm old. Uh, where? Oh, is there any quests we can get from you, Shalina? Hello again. I'm glad you came back. It's kind of neat to speak to someone from the surface world. Is there anything I can do for you? I uh, want to ask some questions. Get more information. No, oh. you don't have anything that would lead to a quest. Greetings once more, Upworlder. 
Do you bring news of my apprentice? Yes, I do. Have you discovered her fate and proved yourself to be a true savior of my people? She died. She is dead. It is as I feared, then. She joins the list of those who have given their lives in the service of our cause. But though I am saddened by this news, Sir, there is insane. yet hope. By finding my apprentice, you have proved yourself worthy, Upworlder. You are to be the beacon on our path to salvation. You, you like... will guide us to the promised land. It's, it's not too late for me to decide. It's not too late for me to decide that I should just go dark side, because I really, really want to punch this guy right now. You are marked, Upworlder. Even my dim old eyes can see but the yes, mental it is an old man. That, that is no excuse. Perhaps this man has sent countless people to their you death. Know yourself. I am old. I have lived a hundred years For a fable. in the Undercity. A legend. Cast down into the darkness. Since I know hundreds, the legend probably. and history of our people. And now you must learn it too. I really, really want to punch him. The great city of Taris covers the entire surface of this planet. There is no land to grow food. Kelp harvests and the creatures of the sea are our only food source. A century ago, rising levels of toxic pollution poisoned the oceans and famine okay. swept the planet. The rich hoarded food yeah, for their own for use thousands, and the poor hundreds, were left to starve and killed. die. But the poor rose up against this tyranny, and civil war engulfed the planet. Millions died in the fighting, and huge sections of Taurus were destroyed or abandoned. The rebellion was crushed in the end. Thousands were taken prisoner. The jails could not okay. hold them all, and so the practice of banishing all prisoners to the Undercity was born. What does this have to do with me? Many brave men and women were banished here to the Undercity for their part in the rebellion. People like my father and grandfather were cast down, along with their families. What did you expect? If they could get away with it, the Teresian nobles would stuff their own mothers down here to make more room in the Upper City. Now we live a dark existence beneath the streets of Terrace. A life devoid of all hope. Is it but Taurus what? or Terrace? Make up your mind, sir. And you will be the one to show us the way to get there. How can I lead you to this promised land when I don't even know what it is? Legends tell of a self sufficient colony founded just before the famine and lost during the Civil War. A paradise beneath the Undercity where droid servants tend to every need. For many years, I searched for the promised land, just as my grandfather and father did before me. When I became old and gray, my apprentice continued the search on my behalf. And I have collected died. many clues hinting at its location. The journal of my apprentice provides yet more information. But still, there are too many pieces missing from this puzzle. But I know my father and grandfather each had journals where they recorded their own discoveries. I have two journals Perhaps with me. With their journals, I could at last uncover its hidden location. I have all three journals here. Take them. Can it be true? Is it possible that at long last, the dream Murderer. of my father and grandfather before him will be fulfilled? I, I can hardly bear look, to look. They'll tell you that it's a legend. Yes. Yes, of course. Now I understand. It all makes sense. Now I see why the promised land has been so hard to find. Is it because it, it doesn't so exist? Obvious. You have done a great thing, Upworlder. A selfless act that will bring great joy to all the people of this village. I must take this to Gendar right away. True kill. What do you want now? Have you more fables of a hidden paradise just waiting for us to find it? You may not think these are fables after you see what I have brought you, Gendar. Look at these <laughs> journals! Like we're just standing there where he was. No, it can't be. Are these real, Rukil? Is this information accurate? I swear to you, everything in these journals is true, Gendar. The promised land. I told you I would find it. The entrance is far from here, Rukil. It will take us weeks to get there, perhaps even months. And we will have to cross many Rakul-infested areas. 
I do not deny the journey will be hard, Gendar. Oh, but surely it's better just than the miserable life we have here. Wise words, Rukil. Our supplies are high right now. We could leave by nightfall. I will tell the others to prepare for the journey. Thank you once again, Upworlder. I will say a final goodbye. For where we are going, I fear you cannot come. The journey to the Promised Land is long and arduous. Goodbye, Rukil, and good luck. You we must part ways here, a murderous person. I sense your destiny is yet to be chosen, but the destiny of my people is at the end of the long journey ahead of us. We have not been in here. There's nothing in here, though. That's kind of sad. Let's, uh, let's real quick. Let's see. Purchasing a droid. Matrix bounty. We need a permacrete detonator. So, uh, I know, know we did not do much. But... I think I'm going to have to call this an episode. Let's uh, let's at least return to the upper city before I properly end it, though. Uh, mission seems distant. Sure, we'll hey speak there. with her. What can I do for you? Uh, I want to know a little bit more about you. Really? You want to know about me? Nobody's ever really been interested in me before. What do you want to know? How did you meet Zalbar? Big Z's my family, you know. My parents, well. I guess they're dead. It was just me on my own until the day I saw Zalbar in the lower city. I could tell right away he was in trouble. This was before the gang wars were out of hand. But even then, the Volkers were scum. A few of them were hassling Big Z, trying to pick a fight, but he wasn't looking for trouble. Who would want to pick a fight with a Wookiee? Hey, nobody said the Volkers were smart, Thank you. but there okay. were three of them. Fair so enough. So maybe they figured they could handle him. I don't know. Anyway. I don't like the Volkers at the best of times. And when I saw them picking on this poor Wookiee, all alone on a strange planet, overwhelmed by the big city, I just lost it. I screamed out, Leave him alone, you core slimes! And charged right at them. Well, one of them saw me coming and slapped me so hard he just about knocked me cold. You're lucky he didn't fry you with a blaster. Hey, I don't need a lecture from you. You ain't my mother. I knew what I was doing. Those Volkers didn't scare me. They're nothing but cowards. I knew how to deal with them. Of course, I never got the chance. I guess Zalbar didn't like seeing me get smacked around. He let out this howl and yanked that Volker a meter up off the ground and held him there by his throat. What did the other two Volkers do? The other two screamed and ran off. Can't say I blame them. The first time you see an angry Wookiee up close, it isn't a pretty sight. I thought Zalbar was going to rip that punk's arms off and beat him to death with his own fists. The Volker was so scared, he fainted. Or maybe it was Big Z's breath just knocked him out. <coughs> Sorry, Zalbar, but I keep telling you to brush those choppers once in a while. Why do you think I won't stand downwind when you're talking? Anyway, I knew those Volkers would be back with friends, so I grabbed Zalbar and we took off. Ever since then, we've been a team. We look out for each other, you know? But how did he end up on Terrace? He was fleeing some kind of trouble back on Kashi. That's all I know, really. Big Z doesn't like to talk about it. In case you didn't notice, he's the strong, silent type. Doesn't much matter to me, though. I accept him for what he is, not what he was. He and Zalbar like to live in the present. We should get back to the task at hand. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Like I used to tell my brother, fast talk and slick words don't get the job done. I didn't know you had my a brother. My brother's a touchy subject, you know. It just so happens, I don't really feel like talking about him right now. Nothing personal. Let's just get back to the business at hand, okay? Okay. Now then, as I was saying, until next time, this has been I'm Real Ninja with Let's Play Knights Old Republic. Take care. Have fun.